Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with my certified admin mini course. And we're gonna be continuing with this trend of security that I've been working on. So we're going to discuss object level security now that we've discussed record level security. Object level security has three main parts. We have profiles, permission sets, and field level security. One thing that I do need to note before we get into this is about security. You want it to be the most restrictive as possible within Salesforce so then people cannot see or edit records that they really shouldn't be seeing or editing. So you'll want to set it up restrictively and you can always open it up with permission sets. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into profiles. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna go into our custom sales profile. It is a custom profile, it's not straight out of the box, but it'll show us what usual sales users would be able to see. So we do have assigned page layouts. Now I wanna see what we've got. We can find our object permissions, all right. So these are our standard object permissions. One thing with profiles and object permissions is cred. It is a, I don't know what you call it, but it's create, read, edit, delete. And it's kind of the basic access of what you have. So let's see, we have these different standard object permissions, and this will be able to tell us what we can do on these objects. So on the accounts object, the anyone with the standard or the custom profile of sales will be able to create, read, edit, delete accounts, as well as assets and campaigns cases. They can create, read, and edit, but they cannot delete it. So that's important to know when you're trying to discuss with management about, hey, how do we want this set up? How do we want our sales users to be able to use it? Do we want them deleting accounts? Do we want them creating accounts or do we just want them to reading and editing them and to be able to do activities on them? All right, so that is part of profiles and you'll have a similar one for custom object permissions as well. That's really the basics of this profile. There are other things when it comes to security like login hours, login IPs that you can use, general permissions, etc. But really for the exam, you're just gonna need to know about that object security and maybe some page layouts. But from there, let's go ahead and jump into permission sets. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new permission set and just it'll show us how we can run into it. So I'm going to call this sales user plus. So what we do is we would use it to let's find custom sales user or just put it under the sales user license. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the Salesforce license. So what this would be is, so we had a profile for a sales user and we wanted to maybe give them some more object permissions than what came standard within their profile. This is where we'd be able to change that. So here you can see you have no access to a lot of these, but when you're getting a permission set, you'll want to edit it so that it only gives access to what it needs. So let's say we wanted to give access to asset relationships. The sales user will already have access to the accounts, so we wouldn't want to change no access, but we'd only want to edit the asset relationships.
different things that you can do in here are listed. You can change the assigned apps, app permissions, some system permissions, etc. But really what you should know is about this object, about these object settings within permission sets. All right, let's go ahead and go into field level security. And I believe that's on the profile again. So let's go ahead and jump into custom sales profile. All right, here we are for field level securities and it shows our different standard objects. Let's go into account again and we'll be able to see all of our different fields. So when it comes to field level security, this gives read access or edit access within on the page layout. So if we wanted to have the account name available but not editable, we'd go in here and we'd uncheck this box. So I'm actually gonna uncheck the account number because we don't want our sales people with the sales profile to be able to edit that. And you can see that we have different fields and you're able to do this for any object that they have access to. So let's go ahead and go back to the profile. I'm gonna click save and back to profile. All right, that's a very basic overview of what object level security does and how you can change things up and open things up, but do remember that you want it to be the most restrictive as possible when setting it up generally for organizations, but then within your custom profiles and permission sets, you can open these things back up to people as they need it. So be sure and like and subscribe and join me for the next video. Also, be sure to drop down in the comments and ask any questions that you have or any videos that you would like to see me do. All right, I'll catch you.